Thanks again for joining me this week. And we're going to be covering another um, viewer request. And this we're going to look at measures of variability. So the variability around an estimate you have, it could be a rate, it could be a count. And you can usually uh, look at it in a couple of ways, standard deviations, standard errors, and 95% um, confidence intervals. And we'll cover just how to do that. So first of all, we're going to load library ggplot so in our studio. ggplot2 and then once that's set up cancer file and this is the file I have um, so the file we're going to use right here is underlying cause of death and we'll load it up to see what it looks like run this line of code and if you look at that cancer file this it's pretty dirty so it's pretty messed up right now so if you look down here and we'll expand it it doesn't look very good it's a little bit messy so how do we clean this up so I'll go over those steps real quick it's pretty simple so you want to add header equals true and then separator equals and it has a weird separator on this text file backslash t if you look at the file you'll see that backslash t that's the separator right there and you know the rows it looks like 33 rows so i'll do n rows equals 33. We run that and look at the cancer file again or get something really usable 33 records looks pretty good. So now let's look at the names of this file, of this uh, data set. You see on top, names are kind of messy, but um, to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to rename these right here. And this is how I rename data, um, the names on a data frame like this. So names cancer, and then nine for the ninth variable or the ninth column there and we're just going to change that to rate and I'm going to copy this a couple times and the reason I'm doing this is because I do not want to write this all out so age dot age adjust age dot adjusted rate that's a little bit long so I'm just making it a little bit simpler on myself So on 10, you can see down there, I'll call it LL95, so lower limit of 95, upper limit 95. And then for age adjusted rate, standard error, I'll just call it a C. So now let's do our first preliminary plot. ggplot data equals cancer. We'll do AES, aesthetics again, X equals year underscore y equals rate and um, back up a little bit this is the um, the cancer file is actually looking at um, rates of cancers in two states so in California and Kansas and it's looking by year so um, a lot of things going on we're gonna like we're gonna try to graph this so the um, cancer rate um, each year by state so there's a lot of other information here and then we're gonna add some confidence interval on top of it so let's look at color. So let's just do a GM point for right now. GM point is a, is a um, scatter plot. Oh, year underscore is not found. Let's put year. Oops, just forgot to run this. Make sure you run that. And then put this in there. We're going to get our scatter plot right over here looks pretty good so year on the bottom rate on the x-axis on the y-axis is going to be rate x axis is going to be year and we have these two charts so we might want to piece them out so let's put color on them let's look at the two states it's going to create two groups 
So California is going to be in green. Cane's going to be in blue. And this red one's actually a missing value, but pretty neat so far. And let's f first expand the limits so we can make it so it's um, not being distorted. zero to 200 let's see if that works real quick awesome so see it right there you can also do a gm line but let's just stick with gm point for right now and so how do you do how do you add your standard errors in your 95 percent confidence intervals well actually it's a pretty simple um function and it's actually gm error bar and if you go onto the ggplot site you're going to see this error bar um, page within the uh, documentation and if you scroll down real quick and you look right here See, this is the one way to do it. So GM error bar limits, um, but I don't actually use that. I actually used to use the Y min and Y max um, notation. So the one I'm using is a little bit different, but right here, Y max and Y min, um, generally that's what I use and I like the most. So we'll go over how to do that because it actually gives you a little bit more functionality um, when you're doing conference intervals and things. So. We have, if we look back at the the cancer data set, you see that we have the lower limits, upper limits. So let's just do the 95% the, um, conference over right now. So the, the syntax is like this, geom, error bar, yes, another aesthetic. So this is the different part of it. Y min equals LL95. Y max equals UL95. And we'll see what that gives us. So reading it right here, um, aesthetics, Y minimum, so the bottom um, part of the conference interval, LL95, the maximum, UL95. And that's going to give us our range. And we'll run it real quick on this data set. And awesome. So you can see California, which is a much larger population in Kansas, has this much tighter conference interval around the um, estimates. In Kansas, which is smaller, has a wider one. So that's what we're expecting. And it's also in the middle. So 